Well, Ian, tell us a bit about how you feel your progress is going so far. Uh, yeah, it's going really well, to be fair. I'm enjoying it a lot, like playing football. Obviously, game time isn't as regular as last year. Obviously, a game every week, either at Bognor when I was on loan or the 18s. But still, it's going well. Training most days in and around the first team and doing that. A lot of experience. Like It's really good. To how, be fair. how did the Bognor situation help you? Uh, men's football completely different honestly just so different physical 18s you've got time space as soon as you go in the men's they're just on you straight away so it's a lot different it made me I needed to get quicker my feet get quicker I get stronger so it worked really well to be fair and I think it's helped me this year when I've played like the two first team games I think it's helped yeah you felt you felt a better player when you came out of that yeah definitely it definitely helped because Honest, men's football is just completely different. I, sh- I kind of struggled the first two games getting used to it, like the physicality and like needing the win you need to win. And yeah, it really helped with the two games like that I've played with the first team and pre-season as well. It must be really nice to have the kind of rave reviews you had after the, the game against Norwich. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, Crawley as well, that was surreal. It was a really good night for me. And yeah, Norwich as well, Like obviously playing with other lads as well in and around the youth team and all of us out in Fratton Partners. It was class, to be fair. Do you, do you, you were one of the standout players. Do you have any nerves going into a situation like that? Um, no, I, I didn't have time to be nervous for Crawley because planning what really I wasn't, I didn't think I was going to be starting. And then I turned out to be starting and no, didn't have time to be nervous, just had to get on it straight away and I thought, thought I'd done well, I really enjoyed it everything about it to be fair you're penciled in tomorrow and you're going to be playing a, a good old professional stadium yeah I'm buzzing for that as well under the lights but it'll be class to be fair at Oxford really looking forward to it it's another game as well I just want to be playing to be fair and nothing better than playing on Tuesday night would be good you play on either wing or you can play on either wing what's what's your best side uh, I like playing on the right that's where I mainly play but I can play on the left as well and I enjoy that because it's a whole different game cutting in uh, getting shots away where when you play on the right you want to try and beat your player on the outside get crosses in I can do do both enjoy both so wherever I'm playing just buzzing to be either on the wing or yeah anywhere I can play in 10 as well but that doesn't happen a lot so. Listen you're no slouch are you either <laughs> you gather some pace down that wing you were leaving the defender for, for dead yeah, yeah, I've always, well, I haven't always been as quick, but for some reason, as soon as I started my scholar, I just noticed how quick I was. I finally started running, and yeah, I've just used that to the best of my ability, and now try and use it to beat players, and it works most of the time. Do you feel now, as a third year scholar, you're coming to a, a crunch period? Uh, yeah, obviously, third year, there's, you only have one year left, and yeah, it's definitely a crunch period, so. The games I do play, I've got to do well as well. They aren't, they're not coming regular, but when I do do it, I've got to be on it straight away. So, yeah, it's, it's crunch time, but hopefully I can come out the other end. Because your brother Jack was here at the academy, um, didn't quite make it. Does that give you extra impetus to, to go on and make it? Yeah, definitely. There's things he didn't do, which he's telling me to do, and it's helping a lot. And, yeah, honestly, it's great to have him. Him there helping me, telling me things, what I should be doing, what I shouldn't, and he's helped me a lot, to be fair. He's like telling me how to improve my game, so I've learned a lot from him, definitely. Well, listen, mate, you're doing yourself no harm, so we wish you all the best. All right, thank you.